As we investigate our universe, black holes and wormholes are some of the most violent and mysterious objects we find. So in today's video, we are going to explore the mysteries of black holes and wormholes. Before getting to the video it's a general reminder to click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from our YouTube channel. Well moving forward first of all let's see what a black hole is. The black hole is an area in the universe where gravity is so powerful that even light cannot escape. The reason for this powerful, strong gravity is that the matter has been squeezed into such a small area. This happens when stars are out of their energy and collide in on themselves or when two smaller black holes combine. Do black holes visible? No, they are not visible. It is because they do not release light so people won't be able to see these black holes. But we can find them with specialized space telescopes. And also from these tools we can observe the stars that are in very close range to black holes respond differently from other stars. The defining feature of a black hole is the event horizon. An event horizon is a boundary beyond which events cannot affect an observer. The gravitational force near the event horizon's edge is so strong that nothing can escape, even light. The event horizon has been described as, the shell of points of no return, due to these factors. It's interesting to note that while black holes are entirely black inside the event horizon, light can still exist outside of it. Black holes often absorb nearby stuff through a process known as accretion. This surrounding matter accreting onto the hole heats up through viscous dissipation and converts gravitational energy into radiation, radiating bright light at many frequencies, including radio waves that can be picked up by radio telescopes. This shining material accreting onto the black hole crosses the event horizon, resulting in a dark area over a bright background. This is the so-called black hole shadow. What is one of the biggest mysteries of black hole research? This is not a simple assignment. For two reasons, black holes are notoriously challenging to examine. The first one is the accretion disk is near the black hole, it is traveling through distorted spacetime, which has an impact on computations. The second one is astronomers were unable to calculate the magnetic turbulence inside the black hole. A black hole's size decides by its mass. Black holes may combine to generate even bigger black holes, and these mergers can cause gravitational waves, which are vibrating waves in spacetime. Black hole research is a fast-developing topic, and new findings are made regularly. The study of black holes has advanced our knowledge of gravity, space, and time and continues to provide fresh perspectives on the nature of the universe. So moving forward to the second part of our video, let's see about wormholes. A wormhole is a tunnel or shortcut through space-time that could potentially allow for faster-than-light travel or even time travel. The concept of a wormhole first appeared from the general relativity theory which explains how gravity changes spacetime. Who made the wormhole? John Wheeler, a physicist, first used the phrase wormhole in the 1950s. Spiro Pulu, who is a Greek physicist said the researchers found a quantum system that exhibits key properties of a gravitational wormhole but was small enough to implement on current quantum technology. The thing is that researchers had never found any wormholes in our universe. Scientists frequently see wormholes in the solutions to significant physics equations. Wormholes feature significantly in the equations that make up Einstein's theories of spacetime and general relativity. What is wormhole theory? According to the wormhole hypothesis, huge distances throughout the cosmos might be shortened by an imaginary journey through spacetime. General relativity makes wormholes a possibility. Be cautious though, as wormholes pose risks such as abrupt collapse, intense radiation, and potentially hazardous interaction with unusual materials. Wormholes theory was theorized in 1916. But that time they didn't use the word wormholes. Austrian scientist Ludwig Flamm discovered a different solution to Albert Einstein's general relativity equations while examining one provided by another researcher. He talked about a white hole, which is a black hole's hypothetical time reversal version. There could be a space-time tunnel that connects the entrances to both black and white holes. In 1935, Einstein and physicist Nathan Rosen used the theory of general relativity to elaborate on the idea, proposing the existence of bridges through space-time. These bridges connect two different points in space-time, theoretically creating a shortcut that could reduce travel time and distance. The shortcuts came to be called Einstein-Rosen bridges, or wormholes. So my question is a wormhole a real thing? they are theoretical in actuality. Wormholes are a fix of science fiction in popular culture, 
if only because they offer a convenient way for futuristic plots to escape the problem of relativity violations when using faster-than-light travel. Just think about what happens if black holes fall into wormholes. Astronomers think they might be able to detect black holes falling into wormholes using ripples in spacetime known as gravitational waves, but only if wormholes actually exist and such a scenario ever happened, a new study finds. Wormholes are theoretically possible passageways across spacetime that might lead to other universes or wherever else in space and time. Wormholes are possible under Einstein's general relativity theory, yet it is debatable whether they exist. In theory, every wormhole is unstable and immediately closes after opening. They can only be maintained open and passable by using an unusual type of materials with so-called negative mass. Such exotic matter exhibits strange characteristics, such as defying gravity by flying away from it as opposed to gravitationally gravitating toward it like ordinary matter would. Nobody is aware of the existence of such strange material. There are two main types of wormholes. They are non-traversable wormholes and intra-universe wormholes. Non-traversable is a space having two doors that can only be opened from the outside, they are black holes through which nothing can ever exit. Intra-universe wormholes is a compact areas of spacetime with a topologically simple border but a complex internal structure. If you enter a wormhole you will certainly die unless the wormhole was thoroughly cleaned out and everything else blocked from entering it. Juan Maldacena who is an Argentine theoretic physicist said that, whenever you travel close to the speed of light, any particle or dust grain or anything that you hit will be problematic. Even a photon would cause you trouble, so entering a wormhole could immediately kill you. Although there is no direct proof for wormholes, they are still the subject of extensive research and conjecture in theoretical physics. They provide us the chance to go to far-off places in space and time, and they may even help us explain the basic principles of the universe. So this is the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. What do you think about the mysteries of black holes and wormholes? Comment your ideas on us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.